In this video, let's go ahead and take a look at a tool called poke. So what is this tool? So for this example, I'm going to grab a cylinder, just drag it in, in the center, go to my attribute editor, and I'm going to turn off my subdivision caps just for this example. Uh, next, uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to grab maybe this face and this face, and let's go ahead and model something uh, on it. So maybe we'll extrude it and I'm going to press G to repeat my uh, command and let's do this one more time. Maybe uh, let's go ahead and move it down. All right. And once you finished um, modeling, it doesn't matter what it is. The next step would be to export this out, let's say into a game engine. Well, one of the uh, things that you'll notice right away is obviously we now have this uh, face with multiple edges. And normally, if you want to uh, export this out into a game engine, uh, one of the rules is that you should have your polygons to be either tries or quads. So something like this is not game engine friendly. So for that reason, uh, you can go to Edit Mesh and click on this button here called Poke. As soon as you press it while your faces are selected with multiple edges, it's going to create a center and it's going to create um, all the edges necessary to support that center. So this is an amazing tool and it's a cool little uh, shortcut that um, will uh, quickly clean up your uh, geometry, especially uh, if you're modeling for uh, games. So take advantage of this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.